Welcome to the introduction to soccer using Allsport Pro. This video explains the process of creating a new game based upon the rules profiles, scoring a game, and setting fanfares. Open Allsport Pro using the icon on the desktop of your computer or tablet's home screen. Log in to the Allsport Pro application using the username and password provided to you by Dactronix. If you do not have this information, contact your system's administrator or Dactronix support. Allsport Pro uses pre-configured rules files when creating a new game. Select the main menu icon in the top left corner and choose Rules to configure your rules profile. Pre-installed profiles cannot be changed, but items can be copied within this menu to create new, customized profiles. Select one of the existing soccer profiles and choose Copy. Edit settings as desired for periods and clocks, horns, and scoreboard options. Choose Save once your profile has been set to the desired settings. Add rosters by selecting Rosters from the main menu. Choose Add New and select Soccer from the Sport Selection pop-up. Add the team information in the spaces provided and choose Add Player to add all players on the roster. When all players are added, choose Save. To start a new game, open the menu using the main menu icon and select Games. You can open a game that has already been created or click Add New to start a new game. The Create Game window guides users through the options required for a new game. A custom name for the game may be entered into the window at the top. Choose Soccer for the sport, then select the appropriate rules file for your level of competition, and finally select the scoreboard to be used then choose Create. Once the game has been opened, set the home and guest team names using the three dots menu next to each team name and choosing Team Settings. Users can set a team name and a team short name. Add the 11 in-game players by selecting the soccer ball icon next to the player's name in the roster near the bottom of the screen. Roster edits may be made on the fly by selecting the Roster Edit button to the right of the team's name. Substitute players as necessary as the game progresses in this section. Start the clock by choosing the Play button next to the game clock time. During gameplay, a stoppage time will be available to edit as needed. Set the possession using the arrows as the game progresses. Use the scoring keys under the home and guest scores to increment scores. When using the plus one option, a pop-up roster appears to assign the goal and assist to the appropriate players. Track yellow and red cards using the corresponding option and assigning them to the appropriate player. Team stats may be incremented by clicking in the stat box or by using a plus one in the three dots menu. Use the game summary tab near the bottom to make edits to goals and penalty cards using the pencil icon to the left of each item. Game attendance and officials may be added if desired. To interface with your video display, choose the Display Studio tab. Select the three dots menu and choose Configure to select your Display Studio tab container. The drop-down shows the container tabs that have been created in every Display Studio workspace. Selecting a tab links the buttons on that tab to allow operators to quickly trigger Display Studio buttons from within the Allsport Pro. Fanfares may be set to automatically play specific Display Studio buttons when a corresponding scoring key is used in Allsport Pro. Select Enable Fanfare to enable the triggering of content through the scoring buttons. Choose the drop-down under Home and Guest Score to select the Display Studio scripting button you would like to trigger or leave the drop-down blank to remove a trigger. Once the desired triggers have been set, click Save. Now, when those specific scoring keys are selected in Allsport Pro, the chosen content will automatically play. 
If new buttons are added in Display Studio, select Refresh from the three dots menu to add those buttons into the Display Studio tab. If your scoreboard has a horn, it may be sounded using the various buttons on the Horn tab. Horn durations may be configured in the Rules profile. The Settings tab shows the scoreboard settings and if available, dimming levels for the scoreboard may also be adjusted. If any other menu option is selected while in the game, you will be prompted with a Leave and Disconnect pop-up box. Choosing Leave and Disconnect will disconnect the game from the scoreboard, making the scoreboard available for use in future games. Game scoring is saved on the Games page to allow users to continue scoring existing games or to take over scoring on another device. When a game is finished, be sure to leave and disconnect from the scoreboard to allow the next game to use the scoreboard. This concludes the introduction to soccer using AllSport Pro. Continue to other videos on this channel for more tutorials.